about a year, the Arvada Police Department has engaged in directed patrol intervention. DPI focuses patrol efforts on targeted areas to reduce crime and increased arrest numbers. Between September 1st and November 1st of this year, patrol officers targeted the Wadsworth Corridor between 67th Avenue to the north and the city's southern border at I-70. The area was adopted based on crime data studied by the department's team of crime analysts. For this particular one, uh, I set several goals uh, for the area when I was kind of the point person that put this together. Uh, and it was several. A reduction in calls for service, uh, an increase in officer-initiated activity, which again we've seen uh, some su significant success there, uh, to reduce uh, target crimes, and those include robbery, uh, both residential and non-residential burglaries, uh, trespasses to vehicles or vehicle break-ins, and then uh, auto theft. And uh, I wanted to see a uh, reduction in uh, overall incidents and target crimes, uh, which during the month of September, uh, we had a small uh, decrease, I believe it was only about 5% um, in those uh, crimes overall. Uh, so we set several goals. and. Um, Again, most of that is uh, st statistically driven. Hey there. You have your license, registration, and insurance. The reason I stopped you is for your obstructed view, your cracked windshield. What's going on with that? Oh, <laughs> you don't know? don't have money to fix it, I guess. Yeah, it gets kind of expensive, but it's pretty bad when there's sunshine and it might obstruct your view a bit. Where are you heading to? Going to work? Where's work at? Actually, I'm going to school right down here. I have a, one more class to finish up. So at Arvada, or? Okay, well go ahead and hang tight for me and I'll be right back with you in just a sec, okay? All right, here's your documents back. Okay. And as cool as the fuzzy dice are, you're gonna have to take them down because those obstruct your view too, all right? Okay. Get that windshield fixed as soon as you can, all right? all right? Have a good rest of the day. This effort isn't just about patrol. It's about meeting one-on-one -on -one with community members to address their concerns. We can do, you know, the police department has just one piece of as you guys know, what is a very uh, uh, diverse neighborhood as far as what's going on and what the interests are and so forth. But, but I wanted to show you guys what we're doing so you know that we're down here and, and we are trying to help you guys any way we can. This shopping center up here uh, has had concerns with, uh, with juveniles, um, either uh, after school or even during the school day. Again, there's two uh, high schools within just a block, and that makes for a lot of uh, a lot of people in and out of the area. You know, you have the uh, some of the typical uh, types of uh, problems you see with uh, high school age kids, fights, and some petty crimes and so forth. But uh, it, it had gotten to the point that uh, this particular uh, McDonald's right here had asked us for an extra duty officer uh, during some of its busier times because they were just literally overwhelmed. With, uh, with students, and not that those students uh, were all necessarily causing problems, certainly they weren't, but just the sheer volume of people in this area uh, was causing issues, and uh, they asked us to be out here. Uh, so we did that for a time. Um, my understanding is that that's uh, calmed the problem down somewhat. They're not having us up here on extra duty assignments uh, uh, currently. In addition to DPI patrol, the team is working closely with Officer Kellogg, the school resource officer at Arvada High School. His effort to stagger lunches is having a tremendous impact in the community. I had to make what I thought was the best plan was to make contact with all of the businesses in the area, give them my card, let them know that you know I can address some of these issues with them. Um, and sometimes it's just my presence that make the kids re realize that well, you know maybe they're they're taking space that otherwise should be. Uh, should be allowed to be given to the, the people, the patrons of the businesses. And so um, the kids have been pretty respectful of that. It's every now and again you have to remind them of you know, being, being conscious of the fact that they're not customers and they have to move on. So. So 
So now we're down in the um, uh, retail area around 52nd Wadsworth. Got one of our officers out on a contact. Speak with them here for a minute and just see what's going on. Hey, Kelly, what's going on? Good. What you got? Anything? Uh, they had a suspicious vehicle. They thought that um, they were trying to sell it, and so this customer called in and said. So they called them in as suspicious? Yeah. 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 So we just came over here and just uh, cleared serial numbers, but uh, Regan just contacted the, the owner. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to sell this. It's like all demo equipment. Uh -huh. So they're trying to sell this one big equipment, and then they get everything else included in it. Okay. So it looks like it's legitimate pretty much? Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to come back. They felt uh, this truck here with this equipment they're trying to sell out of the back of it was suspicious. Uh, and uh, they did the right thing. Give us a call, uh, have us come out and ask some questions and so forth. It looks like it's checking out okay. These officers were able to make contact with uh, uh, some corporate higher ups and uh, get confirmation on what the equipment was, what these guys should be doing with it. and. Uh, uh, so in this particular case, it appears to be legitimate, but uh, again, it's a good example of what we need people to do to help us out in areas like this. We need them to call in when they see something suspicious. Let us come out, ask some questions, find out what's going on, uh, and if, uh, if everything's all good, then okay. We ask the questions and we go on to the next thing. But, uh, you know, obviously if somebody doesn't make the call, um, you know, this truck looks like any other uh, number of vehicles down here, and it's something that officers likely uh, may or may not have picked up on on their own. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a good example of the kind of work we want to be doing in these areas. The DPI area includes the I-70, I-76 interchange, which is in our city. Um, unfortunately, we've had kind of a spike this year over last as far as accidents in this interchange. And, um, you know, we had one very serious accident that involved fatality here on uh, westbound 76, right at the merged I-70. And uh, from what I've been able to determine, no real, you know, rhyme or reason as to why here, why this month, uh, you know, certainly these, these accidents were on different days, they weren't related, and uh, there doesn't seem to be any common threads, um, but it's a concern for us, and so I made ourselves uh, uh, visible, um, because it's unusual that, you know, you see kind of a jump at any one particular location. Year over year, we have several intersections that are consistently high accident locations, many of which are along Wadsworth because, again, it's such a high volume traffic area. Um, so this is part of the DPI in uh, some place we've been uh, working.